Hey guys, I'm Jacob here at the Pool Supply. Today, we're gonna install an a, a quick water leveler. What we're gonna do is install a float. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Stay tuned. And we're back. First things first, hit that subscribe button. Like our videos, and uh, we'll keep firing out more your way. But let's dive into this. I have an a, a quick water leveler here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to install these floats and how to install it properly, okay? So, what we're gonna do first, obviously, you're gonna wanna take the lid off of your water leveler. So I'm gonna take the lid off, put it off to the side. And then next, at your house, what you wanna do is go to your equipment, and the first thing I'm gonna need you to do is without the water leveler installed, so if there's nothing inside here, turn the water on. So what you always wanna do is flush out your lines. You're gonna turn the water on, this thing's gonna flood like crazy. A lot of water pressure. So what it's gonna do is clean out the lines. You're gonna do that for about 10 seconds, turn the water off. So now that we have no water pressure here anymore and that we're good to actually freely put this in there, the first things that we're gonna do is I'm gonna Teflon tape this. Always Teflon tape. So I'm gonna grab my Teflon tape. I like to start high and low. So as you see, it's a nice bead of Teflon tape around there. Just a thin layer, that way it provides a good seal. Teflon tape in the pool world pretty much works as an O-ring on anything that's threaded. So it's, it's good, especially on the pressure side, a lot of pressure like this, so it's just a good extra seal. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you Teflon tape it. Next, what we're gonna do is you're gonna just stick this right down in the bottom there and thread it on. But first, I wanna show you guys something. So you guys can go to any department store and buy these water levelers, but however, when you buy them with the a, a manufacturing package, you get the restrictor seal. The restrictor seal actually makes this thing a lot quieter, as well as at your house where the vacuum breaker is. That way there's no water hammering against the side of your house if this thing's allowing too much water. Because these style floats, they allow a good amount of water that it turns off, a good amount of water it turns off. And it doesn't, like within five seconds, it goes boom, 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 boom. So you don't want that against your house. So if you can actually restrict the water flow, now it's allowing a little bit of water at a time, that way it's not hammering against your house. So this little restrictor actually goes in to the hole in the bottom here, and it just kind of sits in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So then now, I'm gonna install my water leveler. So we always recommend the restrictor flow. You don't need mass amounts of water going into your pool and you got some monstrosity of a pool, like a hotel sized pool. And that's why they have a couple water levelers. However, let's install this thing. So this thing's adjustable. And let me show you how to do that real quick. So when it's inside there, I'm gonna turn left. This is how you can raise and lower your water level. That loosens it, you pull it up, you lock it into place. Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do before I install it, I like to lower it completely and lock it back into place. So I'm gonna put it all the way down there. You find the threads, don't force it, just kind of turn it until it starts going in the direction that it wants to go in. So you see how it turns, nice. Perfect, so now it's snug tight. You don't want to sit there and crank on it because then you'll break the threads on the bottom of that water leveler. And if you guys break the threads on that water leveler, we have a video of how to fix the threads on that water leveler so you don't have to jackhammer this thing out. So literally, there's a little uh, adapter that goes on the bottom of that. If for some reason something breaks, for the three different types of pipe sizes that you could have, that'll actually fix this thing. If for some reason you do break it. It's no big deal, it's all fixable, okay? So now that my water leveler is installed like that, all the way down there, I want you to pretend that my water level is up to here. So obviously, if my water leveler is down here, my water level is up here, we gotta adjust it. So what did I just tell you? We wanna give it a quick turn to the left, because it's not turning anything besides the mechanism on here. So turn left, and I'm gonna pull it up to my water level. So it's too tight to show you guys here, so we actually took a picture. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen right now. As you can see on the side of this water level, there's a line. That's where your water level needs to be. The line on that where it literally says water level. So that's where I want your water level to be perfect. So then let's pretend that your water level is too low right now when you're installing this. You put that line to where you want your water level to be. So, and then when you're all done, you tighten it. And it actually goes up like a half an inch. So when you set it, always verify if you can look down there to see where the water level is obviously before you just close the lid and call it a day. 
So now that this is on here, we're gonna go back to the equipment and we're gonna turn on the, or, or go back to your water source and turn the water back on. So the reason why you wanna keep the lid open when you do this, you just wanna verify everything's good. It's not spraying, it's not broken. You don't see water current coming up from the threads down here, because obviously that, if that's the case, you broke the threads. Um, water's gonna be coming out of the top of this thing. Uh, it works just like a toilet at home. So these are actually used in the toilets everywhere. Very popular float. So what you're gonna do now, is now that everything's working good, the water level's where it's supposed to be, we put our lid on. Now you don't worry about it, okay? When your water level starts getting too high, say there's no rain, there's no anything, that means the float went bad. So all it is, is you take it out, put a new one in, just like I showed you how. Again, I'm Jacob with Deep Pool Supply. Thanks for watching, subscribe. See you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.